Hi everyone, my name is Kristen Hayes. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator. And today we're going to be making this quick, pretty Christmas card using some purples today. So let's get started. I have a piece of Highland Heather here and I cut it at eight and a half by five and a half and I scored it at four and a quarter. And then the main piece we're going to be working with is a piece of basic white and it's cut at five and a quarter by four. And we're gonna start stamping on this one. The stamp set we're using today is Joyful Flurry, and this is in the holiday catalog, and it does have coordinating dies, which we're gonna use one of later. Um, and so we're gonna get started using some stamps out of this. The first stamp I'm gonna use is the bigger snowflake. Well, not the biggest one in the, um, whole set but the biggest one we're going to be using and I'm going to take some gorgeous grape and I'm just going to stamp here and then maybe again whoops over here then I'm going to come in with some Highland Heather with the smallest snowflake right here and we're just going to randomly stamp around here and some of this will be covered by the sentiment but let's see maybe another one here and that should be good then the last stamp we're going to use is fresh freesia with well the, the stamp pad whoops that one's pretty tight is this little teeny tiny little dots that look like snowflakes. So we're just gonna come in and go right over where we stamped to fill in some of that white space. And I didn't wanna do the whole card. I just wanted to do a little tiny bit of it. Let's just do a little more there. And I think that's good. All right, I'm gonna put that aside. We are gonna run it through the stamp and cut emboss machine with an embossing folder, but I wanna get our sentiment ready as well. And for our sentiment, this is still out of the Joyful Flurry um, stamp set, and it's a season of magic and wonder. And I just have a piece of scrap of gorgeous grape here. I'm just gonna run my embossing buddy over the top of it and take some Versamark. ink this up give it a good press and then let me just grab a piece of scrap grid paper here there we go and we're just gonna sprinkle some white embossing powder on it all right it's good and covered so we'll funnel that back in and then we're just going to heat this up with the heat tool grab mine alrighty All right, there you go, that's all set. I feel like there is something sticky on the back of this. A spot of glue or something. All right, we got that off. So now these are the coordinating dies um, for the stamp set. We're not using the snowflakes today. We're just making a quick and simple card, but you can see there's another sentiment cut out as well, a smaller one. We're gonna use this bigger one. And let me grab the stamp and cut emboss machine before i do that let me just show you this is the embossing folder we're going to use it's the merry melody and this is in the annual catalog all right so first we'll do the cutout have way more paper than i need 
Um, let's just do it down just a tad. That looks good. So we'll carefully put this top piece down and run it through. All righty. So now we're gonna switch it up for an embossing folder. We'll put our sentiment aside and I'm gonna take off these pieces because this is a 3D embossing folder. Let's see, I'm trying to do it so you can see and I'm not sure if you can see all the way over here, but I'm just gonna slide the paper we stamped on into here. There we go. And then I have the top piece that we use for the 3D ones. Sliding all over. Alrighty. Put that aside. Alrighty, and this just pops right out. And you can see it's got the music in the background right over everything we stamped as well, but it just gives some nice texture to the piece. So we're just going to adhere this on. Here's some stamp and seal. And then press down. Then we have our sentiment and we're going to pop this one up on some dimensionals. I love getting a new dimensional sheet. I don't know about you, but I just love it when it's brand new and you've got them all there. And All right, so then we'll um, use some of this open weave ribbon and fresh freesia, and we're just gonna make a little bow. This card comes together really pretty quickly, which is good if you're just starting your Christmas cards this time of year, because I know they can take a while I have mine done, but, um, well, they still need to be addressed and written inside, but the cards themselves are done. But if you wait, you need sometimes a little bit of a faster design, but this still looks really pretty. Um, I'm just going to trim this side a little more too. There we go. We're going to take a glue dot. And I'm just gonna roll it a little with my finger like I usually do for a ribbon. And then we'll just pop that on there. And then this just goes on the corner of the sentiment right like that. So that's all there is to it. Here's the one we made, here's our original. If you have any questions, please just leave them in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching.